Earlier today, Click announced they've made available app automations to the general public. That means that if you're an existing ClickSense uh, enterprise SaaS customer, you will get that included. Equally, if you are looking to automate processes, issue alerts to the likes of Teams or Slack, or trigger uh, activities such as down, downstream processes, you can do that now with, with app automations. For existing Click customers, the number one use case that most people are gonna be interested in is task chaining. So here, I've just set up a couple of apps. So I've got two apps here that are extracting from sources. I've also got a, a UI app, which is dependent on both of these data sources being up to date. So if you are a new or, or an existing Click customer, if you click on add new at the top here, you'll now see this new option, which is uh, automations, which allows you to create that workflow uh, to automate your process. So here, I'm just gonna call one called Task Chain. As you can see, I've done this a couple of times before. And what you'll notice is, is along the left-hand side here, we've got our different connectors. Within a connector, you'll have different blocks, and each block effectively calls an API uh, endpoint, which uh, you have some properties that you can populate. In the main editor, you end up with a start position, so you always want to be able to, to trigger it somehow. This can either be done manually on a scheduled basis. You can trigger it, uh, so you can actually call it um, from an external um, uh, application. Or you can use a webhook so based on an event that might have occurred. So for example, once a task reloads, trigger an automation to do some, some kind of um, process. In this case, we'll, we'll have it set to, to scheduled because uh, we're gonna schedule this every X number of minutes. And what we're gonna start off with is using the Click Cloud Services. So this is the main one. This gives us um, access to all the APIs that the cloud services um, has to offer. And in here, we can call a reload task. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is use the do reload block, and I'm gonna set that underneath my start position. So in here, it will ask me to specify an app ID. Now, if you know the ID, you can just go ahead and uh, paste that into here. If not, you can search um, and, and populate it that way instead. So in this case, I'm interested in one A, and I'm just gonna trigger the source A uh, extract. And here we can specify the run mode. So we can say whether we want to wait for the reload to complete before we move on to the next block or we can start and continue. Now the two extract apps which we saw before, we had source A and source B, they can actually run in parallel. I don't need them to, I don't need source B to be reliant on source A. I want it, this to be run as efficiently as possible. So I'm just gonna say start the task and then continue. You can also set other properties, but I'm not gonna go into that uh, at this point. And we're gonna trigger off our next uh, extract app. So in this case, we're gonna specify um, source B, and we're gonna do the source mode as start, reload, and continue. Now, before we can trigger the UI, we need both of these tasks to, to have triggered. So what we're gonna use is the wait for reloads block uh, to complete, and in here we'll specify the reload IDs now this is a visual no-code editor, so I don't have to specify using any code in order to get the output from these. I can just use the output from options in the reload IDs task. So these reload IDs are what is returned as part of the JSON from these, very, from these APIs. So here we'll do the output from um, the first reload block, and here we can just pass in the ID. And then we'll also pass in the output from uh, do reload two, and we'll click that one as well. So now we've got two reloads happening in parallel, and we'll wait for those to complete before we trigger the next one, which is gonna be our UI task. So here we've got the, um, we've got to specify the app ID again. In this case, we'll do the task UI. And in this case, we'll actually wait for this one to complete because we've just got that one 
uh, that one reload's complete. Now, we don't want to just stop there. We want to, to show further value that other than just task chaining. So what we're actually going to do is then submit some output to Microsoft Teams. So what I'm going to do here is select the Microsoft Teams connector. And in here, we're going to send a message. So in here, I can select the team ID. So again, I love these do lookups. It just allows me to um, find what I'm looking for very quickly and easily. And I actually don't want to use that block there. Let's just do my pre-sales block. And in here, I'm going to pick my social channel. Now here we can do lots of different messages. We can make this look as pretty as we want. I'm just going to do a very simple paragraph to say, Chris, your app awaits with fresh data. So what's going to happen is we're going to trigger this and we're just going to trigger this manually. It will do both these reloads in parallel. Um, it will then wait for both of them to complete and then trigger the UI. Once that's finished, because we use the wait for reload to complete, it will then send my message. So I'm just going to get up uh, Teams and in here, I'm going to select the right channel. So you can see I've got nothing um, populated in there for now. I'm just going to save this and click run. Now what you'll notice is um, you can see that each block has reloaded successfully. We can open up what was sent, what was received back in terms of the output from the, from the API. And like we said, we can do this on a block per block basis. If we open up um, Microsoft Teams, we can now see our message has been sent and we can go ahead and review that data. If we just go back to the hub, here you can see that we've got the apps that have now reloaded uh, successfully. So here we can see the task chain has completed. And if I open up my end user um, app and go into my dashboard, we can see that the, the app was refreshed uh, a few seconds ago. So this now contains my latest data. So that's app automations. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to be doing a webinar on the 4th of October, so next week. Um, so please register and we'll show you more then.